afternoon, good evening. I'm sure one of these will land with you. Welcome to the 18th edition of Embedded Systems Week, or as we endearingly call it, ES Week 2022. Over the years, we have seen the definition of embedded systems evolve, starting from computing systems that are embedded inside another system whose main task is other than computing, this definition was primarily created to differentiate embedded systems from other computing systems like laptops or desktops. And then embedded systems started getting defined and explained in terms of words like hidden, invisible, and ubiquitous computing, like a computing system for a smart building. Peter Marvidal used to define embedded systems as computing systems that can be designed for a predetermined application to contrast against general purpose computing systems. One compelling definition that Andreas promotes is resource constrained systems. Edward Lee has defined it embedded systems from the perspective of time and time sensitivity. As embedded systems become, became network, they evolved into internet of things. And as they operate in real world, they evolved into cyber physical systems or more generally robots. Any way we look at it, embedded systems have had a dramatic impact on from, from simplifying our lives in the kitchen to in-body implants to large-scale systems that manage various utilities, including power and transportation. Embedded systems have delivered much more than one could ever imagine. And I'm sure that every single one of you will agree that we have all just begun. All of us have many things in our imagination that can be done, and yet we have not achieved them. At the nexus of machine learning, highly efficient computation, and cyber physical systems, there are many challenges to be solved. My favorite one is autonomous vehicles. The embedded systems community is unique in its diversity. It brings together people from so many areas of expertise, including computer architecture, design and synthesis, test and verification, networking and mobile systems, distributed systems, security and dependability, AI and machine learning, programming languages, tools and automation, time sensitivity and control. The founding members of ES Week understood this core aspect of diversity of the community that would be needed to study embedded systems and therefore deliberately structured this event, Embedded Systems Week with diversity in its DNA. From the conception, ES Week was planned to be organized in Asia, Europe and Americas in a three year cycle. This not only allows us to see all the wonderful places around the globe, but also helps the community at large to connect with the local industries and schools in specific areas. This slide shows the ES Week locations uh, since 2005 in Jersey City. The ES Week community itself is much older though, with roots firmly in the last century. However, it was divided into multiple individual conferences. 2005 was the first year when our flagship conferences joined hands to create a large event, ES Week, which has now become the biggest event in embedded systems in the world. As of Saturday, we have about 600 registrations with healthy representations from the three continents, Asia, Europe, and America. We have registrations from over 30 countries around the globe. Diversity, inclusivity, and accessibility. We have made them the key mantras for ES Week 2022. Patricia Derler from Park Research Center served as the DEI chair. Taking diversity to the next level, we are organizing ES Week 2022 in a hybrid mode. That is in person in Shanghai, online on Gather Town, and a one day in person and in person and networking event in Phoenix. All events. Well, everything other than the siu long bao, which are soup dumplings, a Shanghai speciality, and the sonoran hot dog, a phoenix speciality, will be accessible from Gather Town. 
This has been done to balance the organizational challenges in the waning era of COVID and uncertainties about monkeypox, complicated geopolitical and travel situations, and accessibility of ESV to the people who may need it the most. More on the organizational aspects of ESV later, but first let's have a look at the diverse program that we have prepared for you. Let's start with the three main conferences that make the backbone of ESV, that is cases, EMSoft and Codes ISS. I invite the session chairs of each of these conferences to come and report on the health and procedures of the conference after this slide, which is applicable to all the conferences. For five years now, we have been following the journal integrated model at ES Week, where full length papers, 10 pages, went through two rounds of extensive journal style review, and if accepted, they get published in IEEE TCAD and ACM TECS in alternate years. This year in IEEE TCAD. This year's papers will appear in the November special issue of IEEE TCAD, short two-page WIP papers, industry track papers, and invited special session papers go through one round of reviews and get published in the ESV proceedings. Both can be accessed through the ACM or IEEE digital libraries. Now let me invite uh, Cases TPC Chair Preeti Ranjan Panda. Hello, everyone. Um, it is my privilege to summarize uh, for all of us the uh, Cases 22 conference. Swarup uh, and I um, uh, are the program chairs, and uh, we will just briefly summarize the situation. If we can advance to the next slide. Okay, first of all, we are uh, really excited to report that there is a substantial jump in the level of participation in cases uh, this year. There are a hundred uh, full paper uh, submissions that were reviewed from 17 countries, uh, which makes it uh, really the highest ever in terms of uh, uh, submissions that the conference ever received. Um, so it was really exciting right from the beginning. Uh, the paper review situation is was that um, we divided these submissions into five tracks with uh, uh, five track chairs, um, 55 uh, program committee members who reviewed about nine to 10 papers each, and we managed to deliver a healthy uh, four to five reviews uh, per paper that was uh, uh, submitted. So uh, following the model that was just described, 34 papers were shortlisted for the second round. And finally, 24 papers are uh, accepted uh, after the second round. These are the papers that will be presented over the next three years. Um, the rest of the papers that did not uh, make it uh, among them, most of them were uh, forwarded to uh, the TCAT journal for a further round of review. In addition to the full papers, uh, we also have work in progress uh, uh, papers that are going to be presented. And in that, uh, the the conference received 15 additional submissions of which nine were accepted, but also among the full paper uh, submissions that we had, 12 of them were accepted uh, as work in progress and those two would be presented for a total of 21 paper uh, work in uh, progress submissions that will be presented. Uh, let's go to the next slide. All right, so these 24 papers are uh, divided into eight sessions spread over the next three uh, uh, days uh, with uh, three full papers per session. In addition to the full papers, there are uh, uh, the work in progress uh, papers that are distributed all over. And of course, in uh, addition to um, just these paper presentations, which are 15 minute uh, sessions for the full papers and uh, short presentations for the uh, work in progress. Uh, we also have uh, poster sessions uh, through the uh, conference where the authors would be available for further uh, discussions. The timings are given here, uh, but I don't want to read them out because, of course, all our timings are different. The star sessions are the ones with best paper candidates, and a, they are all scheduled for today. Uh, let's move to the next slide. All right. So the 
these are the best paper candidates that were nominated out of the 100 submissions that were reviewed. The papers are titled Hore, Sasha, and uh, Swaf. Uh, all of them have a name, therefore it's easy to speak the titles out. And uh, these are all uh, scheduled for today. Do check them out. And uh, with that uh, short uh, summary, let me conclude welcoming you all to cases uh, 22. I know the timing is spread out uh, so as to be convenient uh, uh, for all of us so who are all uh, in different time zones. So I hope you can make it to as many sessions uh, as possible. Let me hand it over to the judge. Thank you. Next, let me call uh, David Bruman. Hello everyone and, and uh, welcome to MSoft. Uh, so my name is David Broman. I'm the main PC chair this year uh, together with Claire Pagetti. We have been arranging this uh, for working on this for over a year now. Um, so we had also quite a lot of submissions, 118 submissions this year. And this is a healthy number, which is a little bit more than last year, but it's kind of stable over the years. Uh, we had a little bit fewer PISA members this year uh, with the purpose of uh, having a more concise and good discussions uh, in, in the PC meetings. Uh, we had each PISA member reviewed about eight to 10 papers each, and we completed more than 400 reviews. And new for this year we, was also that we had this two-day uh, PC meeting uh, over Zoom where we're debating and discussing the different papers uh, to get to good conclusions. And uh, the First round, we had we accepted thirty-seven papers, uh, and then in these the authors were able to you know revise and uh, create new editions of their papers, and then in the end, the, the PC decided to accept thirty papers in total. And we also had uh, fourteen submissions of work in progress papers and accepted eight papers. Next slide. Right, so uh, we have a very exciting program with uh, many topics. It's ranging from uh, memories and compilers to uh, machine learning, safety, energy, and theory. And you can notice here also with the stars that we have three sessions then with the best paper candidate papers. And next slide. The, these uh, candidates are, uh, the first paper is verified con uh, train controllers for federal Railroad administration train kinematic models balancing competing brake and track forces. And this is from Carnegie Mellon University. The second paper is Tinker Toy Building Your Own Operating Systems for IoT Devices. Uh, that is from uh, University of British Columbia. And the third paper is Vulnerability Detection of ICS Protocols via Cross State Fuzzing. And that is from several universities uh, and companies in China, where the first author is from Tsinghao University. So these are very exciting papers, and we have many more exciting papers. So very welcome to the MSoft sessions. Thank you. Let me invite uh, Cheng Moyang, the chair of Codes ISS. Uh, I think Cheng Mo is not here. Okay. okay. Then, uh, Mohammed uh, Al Faruk, why don't you go? Uh, thank you, Abiral. Yeah, so it's my pleasure to report about the Codex ISS. Uh, I can understand that JMO is very midnight over yes. there. Uh, so, it's uh, welcome to uh, ES Week 2022. Yeah, if you go to the next slide, please. Abiral. So, you'll see that uh, this year uh, the submission has gone a little bit higher than the previous year. We have received uh, 175 abstracts. That number of total submission was also high, 127 papers. And out of that, uh, we accepted 31 papers. So the acceptance rate was uh, almost the same as previous year. And we received papers almost from 20 different countries. Uh, so we had similar approach like uh, what uh, Cases and EMSoft uh, were presenting, two round of review, each reviewers got almost like six to seven papers to review. So we had also two days of TPC meeting after a lengthy discussion over um, uh, uh, online discussion. And then we choose first round of papers and then went to the second paper. Some of the papers that we uh, they submitted for uh, work in progress 
and but also we received new 18 new papers as a work in progress and we accepted eight papers so more or less i think acceptance rate and considering the amount, number of papers submitted or balanced like last years and you see that the number of papers that are submitted were also from all over the world uh, from united states and china probably the majority of the papers came from these two countries next slide please and we have eight exciting sessions, uh, different aspects of you know, code SISs, uh, if you see the call for papers, uh, three conferences that we are talking about have different uh, focus in different things, but you know, in a larger level, definitely embedded systems design uh, we, was the major, uh, one of the major milestone uh, you know, uh, topic area. Also machine learning and different topics and also cover security, uh, emerging embedded memories and storage uh, what topic, and also you know different accelerated design, intermediate computing. So eight sessions, exciting sessions, and the timing again. I would say that this timing is Shanghai timing. Just ignore it. Wherever you are uh, joining the talk, you, uh, you adjust your time. Um, there is a good web page that you can easily adjust your time, uh, and also the star marks that you see. These are the three sessions. One B. 4B and 5B. These are the three sessions that uh, will will be this. The next slide I will be showing three best paper out candidates. Those will be presented there, and I welcome you definitely to come there. And these are the three papers, exciting three papers. In fact, you know uh, we have a we had a um, different vetting process, and we'll be keep on listening the talks. And you know uh, these all three papers are exciting. One from the mapping deep neural networks. Um, uh, from uh, uh, Shajila and uh, Priti, Priti's group, basically. And then the second paper is on security, and the third paper is basically font handling page, fault handling uh, topic. So these are the three topics in our uh, best paper art candidates. So with that, uh, I will conclude my reporting. Thank you very much, and hopefully we enjoy the next three days. Yeah. Uh, thank you, uh, Alfa. So, uh, Thank you, session chairs, for all your hard work and congratulations to all the best paper candidates. The best paper selection committee for each conference will also look at the presentations to decide on the best paper award. The award will be declared in the best paper and other award sessions in a little bit more than two days from now. So in with the three con while the three conferences make the backbone of ES Week, ES Week has a lot more to offer. Although we are doing the opening ceremony now, the before party has already actually st already started. It started on Friday. Many of the these tutorials have finished. We had well attended tutorials on a range of topics from quantum computing to many core processing. On Saturday and Sunday. We organized 10 education classes. While tutorials handle advanced topics catering to students pursuing research in, in the broad area, education classes deal with more basic and fundamental concepts catering to final year undergraduate and first year graduate students who may or may not be interested in research. We believe these classes can be extremely valuable to students in engineering colleges around the world who may not have access to high quality instructors. Education classes at ESV gives them an opportunity to learn from these fundamental topics from the top educators in the world. In the next three days, we will have paper presentations and poster sessions from the three main conferences. But after that, on Thursday and Friday, we, will, we have two symposia for you. Continuing with our tradition, we are happy to host the 16th IEEE ACM International Symposium on Networks on Chip. And we are very proud to welcome a new symposium to ESV, Memo Code. This one is the 19th edition of ACM IEEE International Symposium on Formal Methods and Models for System Design. A lot of thanks for this goes to Jean-Pierre, and Partha Roop for making this possible. On Thursday and Friday, we also have several workshops. This time we have seven workshops 
with the workshop on memory storage and computing and workshop on rapid system prototyping continuing from last year. But the workshop on compiler deployment and tooling for edge AI, workshop on heterogeneous edge computing for embedded systems, HEC, workshop on secure risk five architecture design space exploration, SecRisk V, and the workshop on emerging techniques in system design and design automation for embedded systems, EEDA, are new entries. And even after that, that is not all. In addition to the three conferences, seven tutorials, 10 education classes, seven workshops, and two symposia, we are offering two very interesting special sessions that I'm sure you will like. The first one is on brain-inspired hyperdimensional computing, and the second one is on programming autonomous machines. Plus, we have added three new events in ES Week this year. To increase industry participation, we have added an, added an industry track. This is a formal track with call for papers, and the requirement is that at least one of the authors must be from the industry. These are four page papers documenting the state of the art challenges and perspectives from the industry angle. Four papers were ex accepted. We also started a PhD forum in which senior PhD students can submit a poster of their dissertation and get feedback from you. Six posters were accepted. In addition, we are hosting the ACM SIGBED student research competition. There were about 20 submissions for this, and the finalists in this competition will be invited to attend the Turing lecture. To witness the creme de la creme, come attend the award session. We are hosting two award sessions this year. The first one is the Oscar style time test of time awards. The test of time awards are the most prestigious awards given by the three conferences. They are given to the papers published between 2005 and 2007 this time, who have had the highest impact on the academic and industry community. The best paper and other award session will contain best paper awards for the three conferences, IEEE CEDA Service Award, ACM TCS Best Paper Award, ACM SIGBED Awards, and the SRC Awards also. Now let me spend some time talking about the crowning jewel events of the ES week, the keynotes. This time we have curated three very interesting keynotes. The first one is about how blockchain, big data and AI are empowering high quality development of the industrial and internet by Dr. Jay Li from Shanghai Jiao Tong University. The second one, will be on training the world's best Grand Turismo racer by Dr. Pete Werman, director of Sony AI USA. The third keynote is on the computing and information science and engineering landscape by Professor Margaret Martinosi from Princeton University, who is currently serving as the assistant director of SICE at NSF. To bring in more industry perspective to ESV, this time we have started Sky Talks. We are hosting two Sky Talks, one on AI for EDA from Dr. Yu Huang from High Silicon, and one on open source software stacks for heterogeneous SOCs by Thomas Evanson from AMD and Xilinx. Finally, Honoring the long held tradition, we will end ES week with a very interesting and controversial panel discussion on wafer scale computing. Many thanks to Puneet for organizing this and we are not done yet. But before going further and giving you some more details on the logistics of our virtual platform, let me invite Dr. Edwin Shah, the conference chair to welcome the Shanghai attendees. Professor Shah. Hello. 
Gabriel, can I hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. So let me begin now. Okay, I am Edwin Shaw, Shaw Senior. This is the first time yes week to be held in mainland China. We are proud to host it. We thank the student committee to trust us and grant us to host it in Shanghai, China. Okay, next slide. We will have three days of programs full of events. So let me briefly introduce the programs in these three days. The first day is today. In the morning, we already had an excellent, two excellent tutorials. And uh, after this opening, we will have keynote speech by Dr. Jelly. And after that, we will have three conferences in parallel session and industry talks. Then, probably most uh, interesting and important is our banquet that will begin at 5.30 in Shanghai. And the next slide. Then the next two days, we will have uh, two Sky Talks, as everyone has said, okay, by High Silicon and AMD. And also, we will have three excellent conferences, all in parallel sessions. And also, industry talks and interactions. Then we will have ACM student research competition and the PhD forum. And all these three days, we have lunch buffet and the coffee breaks and uh, uh, drink and snacks. So people can communicate, very interesting. And uh, okay. as you know, because of uh, COVID-19 and uh, all those international conflicts, all these things affecting us, it is a difficult year with such uncertainties, our load mentally and physically in preparing this year's week 2022 has been increased tremendously. With all those uncertainties, but one thing, one thing is certain. That is, we are determined to proceed it and try our best to host it. As being the conference chair, I would like to welcome all of you who participate in the conference and thank all the committee members who helped organize ES Week 2022. ES Week is a wonderful event. It talks about collaboration, not confrontation. It talks about communication, not isolation. It talks about sharing of thoughts, ideas, and technologies, not a little selfishness. As a Buddhist myself, I really wish all of you who participated in the conference be healthy and happy. And may Buddha bless you. And thank you very much. This concludes my opening statement. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Shah. This is wonderful. And uh, I would like to welcome all the Shanghai attendees from my side also. You guys have been able to make it in person. This is so great. And here is a... a uh, phone number for Shanghai Help Desk. You can reach at or call on this number. So let's talk a little bit about the logistics of the virtual online event. First, you can see all the events on the ES Week webpage. So go to esweek.org events or click on that program and schedule. You can filter the events by day, event type, or even event location. You should then select your time zone. So you can select your time zone so that you can see all the events in your time zone. And, and hopefully that will make more sense. Once you go inside 
uh, a session event, you will be able to see the one minute teaser trailer for each of the papers. And my recommendation is that you go through the program and add the events that you like to your calendar. That is the best way to avoid any timing confusion of when this event is, right? And that's why we added this functionality this year. Okay, so the online event is in the gather, is in gather town. Here is the beautiful space that we designed for you. I love the Shanghai skyline in the background. Let's start from the top left to right. The leftmost room is U Garden, Yoga Studio. And I will soon talk more about this. After that is the bun in which we will organize poster sessions. The plenary sessions like opening award ceremonies, keynotes, sky talks and panel will be organized in the central Yangtze auditorium. The next three rooms, Shuzo, Hangzhou and Zuji Ziao are for cases, codes ISS and EM soft conference sessions respectively. The last room, Longhua Tower is for special sessions, industry track papers, student competitions and PhD forum. Beyond that is the bar where if you have been attending all the sessions and listening, then you can get some drinks. On the left lawn and just to the left of the bar, there is a, there is a easel on which from, from where you can access the proceedings of the conference. On the left lawn, there is an entrance to underground escape rooms and Fushing Park where networking events will take place. On the right lawn are industry booths. This is where the ESV proceedings are. Okay, so as you are already here, you clearly know how to join a session, but just to remind everyone, the easel in front of the room shows the agenda of the room. And when you go inside, please go and go to the, go inside and to the side of the room to join the Zoom meeting. Please do not block the entrance. I can't believe that this is actually a problem in virtual space also. But anyways, if you find yourself blocked by other people, press G, for ghost mode, and then you can walk through other people in gather town. So that's very cool. Next, as I mentioned, the leftmost room is the U garden, where you can calm your body and soul by taking a 30 minute Ashtang yoga class. I did a dry run. It was really exciting, relaxing. The instructor Holly Gastille is amazing and she gives yoga classes through Zoom. The yoga class schedule is written in front of the room and there are only eight yoga classes. Don't miss them. To create more networking opportunities, we have arranged for poster sessions. All technical papers have posters. There are two poster sessions per day. Posters from all the papers that will be presented in a day will be presented in the two poster sessions. So while Paper sessions are not duplicated, poster sessions are duplicated. And this is done so, so that even if you cannot attend a paper presentation, you can still talk to the authors in the poster room. The poster directory contains a link to the paper PDF and teaser videos of that paper. To increase socialization opportunities, there is an entrance to, the, to an underground escape room. There are two identical rooms. Read instructions before entering. I imagine that a technically oriented community like ours would really enjoy escape rooms. These are best enjoyed in groups of about four to six, and they take about 60 minutes to complete. So plan your time accordingly. In case you get stuck and want to get out, just close the browser tab and restart Gather Town again. To provide even more networking opportunities, especially for our online members, we have some planned networking sessions in the Fushing Park. When you enter the Fushing Park, you will actually enter an area which really looks like the Fushing Park. We are organizing 30 minute sessions 
in uh, networking sessions, please do check the agenda. The sessions will begin on time and are a great opportunity to network with the conference program committee members, ES Week organizing committee members, and ES Week steering committee members. As all of you can imagine, organizing an event at this scale and that too in hybrid mode is a hell of a lot of work. I have 13,000 emails in my ES Week folder. I am so humbled by this experience that I don't think I'll be able to criticize any conference organization from now on. And I, as the general chair, am just the face of this conference. Many people have worked tirelessly to bring this event to you in the hope that you will find it as enjoyable as informative. Talking about enjoyment, try riding the small cars near the landing pad on Gather Town. They go really fast. And not to minimize others' work, but I would be really amiss if I did not acknowledge the really outstanding and hard work done by the local arrangement chair, Karen Zug, and virtual conference chair, these people have really gone above and beyond their duties to ensure the success of this event with me and in some cases in spite of me. I am so thankful to them. Please give them and the entire organization committee a big round of applause. A lot of thanks should also go to the student volunteers who have pulled in all-nighters to make this event possible for you. Unfortunately, ASU students got a larger chunk of work, but thank you to all the student volunteers and thank you to the ASU student volunteers for helping out in this. Finally, we are very proud to be supported by generous donations from our industry partners and the support that we have received from sponsoring societies. Now, let me invite Professor Edwin Shah to introduce our first keynote speaker, Dr. Jay Lee. <laughs> 